Welcome to Blue Heron Hill. I'm Sue and here we are in the garden. Mostly pepper plants here, but it's ringed by a couple rows of lettuce. Um, we've been eating lettuce quite frequently, lunches, dinners, but I have a massive amount of lettuce. And today I'm starting a program which I think I'll call Tips on Tuesday. And hopefully every Tuesday I'll have some kind of a little uh, tip that will help you either preserve your harvest, uh, little tips in cooking inside, um, household tips, uh, all sorts of different things I have planned. But today's has to do with lettuce. Um, and since I have so much lettuce that I can't eat all at once, but I do want to cut some of these heads before they start to bolt and go to seed. And I can't eat them all at once, but I'm gonna show you a little tip that I have to help you preserve these heads of lettuce or even leaf lettuce too. Preserve them a little bit longer, up to two, maybe even three weeks in your refrigerator. So I thought I would cut off, this is, I think this is the bib lettuce. There we go. Isn't that a gorgeous, gorgeous head of lettuce? And I've cut off a couple other ones. This is kind of a romaine type of a lettuce that has started to head up. So, of course, we have a couple little snails in for the, in for the ride. But let's go on into the kitchen and I'm gonna give you a little tip on how to preserve this. Here we are in the kitchen, and here are my lovely heads that I picked. Now this is a bib butter crunch. Uh, one of my favorite butter crunch is, and I still can't re remember what this kind is, but it's a type of romaine. It hasn't fully headed up yet, but it is very sweet and tender and excellent. And I think this is another same variety, but a smaller head. So I want to preserve these. I want it to last more than just a day or two. So I bring it in and I wash it and I wash it as thoroughly as I can. Now you can cut it off and have each individual leaf washed up, uh, but I like to leave it as an entire head. Um, if you have a salad spinner, it's a good way of washing it. Um, I just rinse it off cool water and put it on my drain board upside down for about 30 minutes. It's still um, fairly wet and that's what you want. You want that moisture to stay with that, um, that head of lettuce. So where the trick comes in <clears throat> is I like to use these linen towels or flour sack towels, they call them, uh, just a regular uh, dish towel, or even I have this um, fancy, I guess it's like a, a terry cloth bag. And what I do is I will wet these down just till they're moist. You just want them a little bit moist, lay them out, and you're going to roll your lettuce in these. I put these two together like this, and I just roll it up. A lot of the moisture from the, the lettuce will wet down your your toweling. You can also use paper towels too. Um, did you know paper towels have plastic in them? That's why I tend to use a more natural product. And then I'll put it inside of plastic, unfortunately. Uh, 
if you don't wish to. And this is just a, a plastic from the grocery store, rinsed, reused many, many times. If you have a crisper drawer, you can um, you can use that too without a plastic even. So wet this bag down. I don't know where I got this, but it works. It works well. And this one I use without a plastic on it. So I will stick this whole head of this bib lettuce in here. And then these two will go directly into my refrigerator in my crisper drawer. Now I've had heads of lettuce like this last up to three weeks. Some of the outside leaves get a little, um, <clears throat> little wimpy and, and wilty, but the rest of it stays nice and fresh and ready to use two to three weeks. So that's my tip for Tuesday. I hope you enjoy it. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips on Tuesday, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll be notified for the next tips on Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Bye.